These kids are experiencing a severe case of puppy love. The object of their affection is a gorgeous blonde. Maggie is a two-year-old golden retriever who is very friendly. But there are times when man's best friend can turn aggressive. This day, third graders at Knox County's Powell Elementary are learning how to safely interact with dogs. <laughs> Here we got Rufus. What's the R stand for? Respect. Nell Wyatt of UT's College of Veterinary Medicine talks to these kids about avoiding dog bites. We come in here, we try to make it as exciting for them as we possibly can and make their learning fun so that they can not understand normal dog behavior and how they should respect that dog. Rufus from the UT Vet School also stops by to help with the lesson. Well Rufus, <coughs> how does it make you feel when you see a dog that's not friendly with children? <laughs> the kids also learn how to approach a dog and what to say to a dog owner. Can I pet your dog? Each year there are more than four million dog bites in our country. Boys ages five to nine are the age group most commonly affected. Leaders with UT's veterinary school say it's important to teach kids not to fear dogs, but to be careful and smart around them. Joseph Stuckey says there are lots of dogs in his neighborhood, and he now knows what to do if a canine shows threatening behavior. I give an uh, unfriendly dog is coming up to you, you should be still. Joseph and his classmates are taught if an aggressive dog is nearby, act like a tree. Stand still, hands underneath your chin, head down and feet together. R-U-F-U-S. What's the first letter stand for? R is for respect. It's an important piece of information throughout this video produced by the vet school. We've heard instances in which adults have told children if a dog comes up just run away as fast as you can. That's, that's not good advice. Um, and, and I think the children learn very quickly from the video. UT vet school leaders will tell you dogs are a lot like people. They too have their changing moods and bad days. But humans can prevent something bad from happening around dogs. Knowledge can replace fear. So let's begin petting your new friend. This is Chuck Denny reporting.